Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the Archie Luxury channel. Today I want to show you a wonderful forgotten Rolex. This is the Rolex Datejust and it's very special. It's the Oyster Quartz version. This is a quartz Rolex and this piece here is a 70, sorry, 17014. It's the steel Datejust with the white gold bezel. It's in fantastic condition, and uh, I recently filmed this uh, when I met up with some friends of mine. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the quartz germs. That's right. This is a quartz Rolex. It's not to everyone's cup of tea. Rolex is famous for their automatic movement. But this piece here is very special. It features Rolex's unique case with the integrated bracelet. Some say this piece here was designed by by very famous Swiss designer Gerald Gentra, who did the IWC Ingenieur, the Patek Nautilus, the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. This piece here is a very, 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 very 70s throwback. In fact, Rolex dropped the Oyster Quartz, and uh, it's it's a piece which has got future classic written all over it. It's a very high quality piece. When one thinks of a quartz watch, one thinks of a disposable type item. But the Rolex Oyster Quartz is no disposable baby. This is a very quality piece. The downside of the Rolex Oyster Quartz is the servicing costs because if that movement packs it up, it's got to go back to Rolex, it can be expensive. But hopefully by obtaining a good example of the Oyster Quartz, you're not going to have that problem. The great thing about this piece here is that it is a classic and it is so unique. The design of this piece, it's rumored the Oyster Quartz was designed by legendary watch designer Gerald Gentra, famous in the 70s for working on the IWC Ingenieur and uh, many other high-end Swiss pieces. Rolex themselves there really didn't push the integrated bracelet. It's an interesting thing, but I think the Rolex Oyster Quartz could be a future collectible. There is a following of fans who love the Oyster Quartz. It's a very unique piece and it goes back to Rolex's past in the 70s. And I've got to tell you, if you want an unusual piece, you can't go wrong with a Rolex Oyster Quartz. What do you think of this piece here? I think this is the perfect piece with the Jubilee bracelet the white gold bezel and a beautiful white dial with Romans. A lovely Rolex quartz from a bygone era. What do you people think of that?